Hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Today we're going to be hunting down some more Mandalorians and doing a few more side quests on Dantooine. First of all, I really should have let Bastila get some force points back before we continued, but never mind. Um, so yeah, let's get on with the fight here. So we actually have a few dark side powers that we can use. Obviously we are dark side. I'm going to use wound if I can. Wound. It didn't seem to work there. Let's try that again. There we are. Good stuff. Through the use of dark side powers. Okay, that one was saved, unfortunately. We should be able to take down these Mandalorians without too much trouble. No Duros there. I'm going to use. Ah, oh, I want to use Drain Life on him. I do really enjoy using my dark side powers. So that is another group of Mandalorians that we've taken down. Um, that should be pretty much all of them except the boss of the Mandalorians. There is a, one more fight I think that I have to do once you clear out the first three groups. And I think we've cleared out the first three groups. Go ahead and take a med pack there. Let Bastila's uh, force points come back because I have been uh, using Cure quite a bit. And I kind of want her to keep some of her horse powers. So... Now, all we have to do is the main Mandalorian fight, but I'm not actually sure where it is. I can't quite remember. There's the droid, though, so let's go ahead and get Bastila. We'll use... No, 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 don't use Cure. Do not use Cure. Yes. Use Night Valor. Great stuff. And Shield. And let's see if we can use Wound on this Cath Hound, because it didn't... Sure. Okay, it worked that time. Good stuff. The Horned Cath Hounds are a bit more um, resistant to force powers, but I'm going to give it a try. I think that actually worked, you know. Brain life? Oh, okay, that worked a little bit better this time. But obviously, we do have Karth with us, and... Yeah, so the game's doing that thing it does where it'll soft lock sometimes. So we want to deal with these guys. Sometimes it'll soft lock after you finish a fight where your character can't move, but it seems to be working again. This is the droid that we've been looking for. Uh, okay, um, a personal assistance droid. As I said, I am C842, a personal assistance droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Uh, are you Elsa's droid? Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. You're running from her? Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She she tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Uh, is she crazy? She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. Uh, you sought them out? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people, please. Will you destroy me? Um, I'll destroy her. I'll destroy you and tell her you're still out there. What? No. You'd make her suffer like that? You monster! Yeah, well, uh, he somehow got all his health back. Not really sure how that happened. Ah, yes. oh, Bastler didn't even get to use Disabled Droid there. That's a shame. So we found the droid, and now we can enter the Crystal Caves, where we hopefully can get red crystals, because obviously, oh, it is dark in here. Uh, it is really dark in here. So I think what I'm going to do for the process for the purposes of this video at least, is I'm just going to turn the brightness up just a little bit, uh, and then we'll return it to normal later, but uh, I just want you guys to actually see what's going on in here, because it is quite dark. Okay, we have Kinraiths here. We'll use Night Valor, and let's see what we can do here. Wound. Great stuff. Let's go! 
and then supporting party members can just deal with them. Wound. And wound. This is really, really powerful wound. I think the way it works, I'm not sure about this, but I think wound does 25% of health. Um, choke does 50 and kill does 75. I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but I think that's how it works anyway. Use Night Valor and wound. Yes. And Dark Side powers are OP. I just start using Shock a lot more actually. Saying that Kin Wraiths aren't really that powerful to be fair. There's more uh, Kin Wraiths here. See, Wound's good because it actually stops them from fighting as well, which means you're taking less damage. Which uh, is what you want to do. Now, Bastila, we need her to use Night Valor again. And just keep using wounds, just keep chucking out their force powers, you know. And this is a high strong there. And it looks like Karth is leveled up, which is great. That's great to see. I'm gonna use Drain Line. Give me some health back. Great stuff. Okay, so we're gonna quickly level up Karth. Uh, skills we'll go for. Treat injury. Karth is a Blaster user, so we should give him something along those lines. But conditioning is also good. Uh, should we give him conditioning? Hmm. Maybe we should give him. Yeah, I'll give him conditioning. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. What? Um, okay, good stuff. Now this is where we're going to get all of the. Crystals, obviously. Uh, you can also get them by breaking open Kinwraith eggs. You can get crystals to upgrade your lightsaber. Uh, you can get crystals that will change the colour of your lightsaber. And I just want to get as many of them as I can. I think they're quite valuable. I don't actually know, but I feel like they are quite valuable. And obviously these Kinwraith eggs break open quite easily. It is important to break as many open as you can because you do get items from them. And we've got more items there. So when we come out here, we're going to be a lot stronger. Obviously, we're going to be upgrading our lightsaber. And as you can see there, we did get something from the Kinwraith Egg. I believe um, that there are more Crystal Caves. Possibly on Korriban. Uh, I'm not sure. But I just want to collect as many as I can. And then we're going to get ourselves a nice, cool red lightsaber. Now... To be honest, green is actually my favourite colour. I do like the look of green lightsabers, but for the sake of role playing, uh, Sith use red lightsabers, so that's why we're going to go with red. The red lightsabers do look pretty badass, to be fair. And we've got that as well, good stuff. And it looks like there's some more Kinwraith eggs around here. You just want to take as much as you can, because obviously I have other party members who need to be upgraded as well. Um, Get some more crystals. I think you can get purple lightsaber crystals as well. Now, purple lightsaber crystals are very cool looking. Obviously, Mace Windu has purple lightsaber. Um, I think that might be everything that we can get. So, yeah, that's the crystal cave. It's pretty easy to do, really. What else do we have to do? We have the main Mandalorian fight. Um, that's pretty important I would say so we'll get out of here and uh, I do need to talk to Karth as well pretty important that I talk to Karth as well so I also need to adjust my graphics back to is it default? yeah we'll get rid of grass though there we are uh, yeah that's pretty sweet Okay, so we've got a little bit of combat out of the way. Let's see if we can get some more stories from Karth before we go and deal with the Mandalorians. Can I talk to you, Karth? Yes, what's on your mind? Uh, I want to continue our discussion from before. I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. Uh, don't you think you'd feel better if you discussed it? Not particularly. I, I guess it wouldn't hurt exactly either, though I, I, I don't know why you're so interested. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them, is the one that I respected the most, Saul. Yeah, that name sounds familiar. With good reason. 
Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. Um, how could you not have seen through that? I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just, I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. You really believe that? I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. No, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Um, so that's all of it then. No, no, it's not. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. Cool, so we got a little bit more information from Karth there. And it looks like there's some more Karth... Well, there's only one Karth hound here, really, to deal with. How'd you like that? Now, I'm trying to just remember exactly where... The um, the main Mandalorian boss is. Uh, I think we should go and look for him because that's pretty much the last thing that we have. Oh, there's more dialogue. Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious, but my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the Ender Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but. I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcas came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? Well, <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? Um, maybe losing lightsabers is a f side effect of a battle meditation? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. Take my advice. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Karth. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. I thought um, you already did relate it to the Jedi Council, and I thought you did tell them everything. So, yeah, it looks like Bastler's lying there. Uh, let's see. Where are the rest of the Mandalorians? They're probably in the Metale grounds. Oh, ah, no, here they are. So this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. Okay, I was not expecting this. I would have prepared. Uh, okay, so we're going to need to use Knight Valor. And we should probably start with the Duros Warriors. So we've got Knight Valor up, that's good. Next we'll use yes. Force Shield. And hopefully we can get Wound on this guy. We can, excellent. So this is the main Mandalorian. And I can use Choke on him as well, that's pretty sweet. This could go better than expected. I am going to go ahead and take a Med Pack quickly. Uh, because... Like I say, I just wasn't prepared for them to be right there. We're using advanced med pack. Um, okay, that should be a bit better. So this is the main Mandalorian boss. He's pretty strong. I'm here. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and keep using force powers on this guy if I can. Uh, we don't want to use wound actually. What I want to use is shot. 
Ah, okay, you know what? Yeah, I want to keep him I occupied, so he's wounded again. Okay, it was saved that time. Let's try it again. Good stuff. Oh, we're nearly dead. Uh, Bastler must have used Cure there. Oh, she used Force Valor or something. I'm not sure. Oh, she's curing. Okay, good stuff. Right. We still have two more Mandalorians to fight. I'm going to not use Cure. We're going to use Night Valor. And we'll try using Wound. Uh, I'll probably try and finish off this Mandalorian while he's uh, not fighting back. Nice. Okay, so you know what? I wasn't prepared for that fight, but it didn't go as badly as I expected it to. So I'm pretty happy with that. And nothing in there. And that's all the Mandalorians done. We got some more lightsabers, so that's good. We use a lightsaber. Um, yeah, that's pretty sweet. So now we got a red lightsaber as well. Pretty awesome. Now when I get back to the Jedi um, compound, I'm going to be obviously um, swapping them both to red. I'm going to try and get a drain life here because we do need some health back. It was saved. Okay, I'll try again. Now we've got a little bit of health back. Not too bad, not too bad really. Well, yeah, that's pretty much all we can do for the time being except uh, go to the Crystal Caves. Not the Crystal Caves, sorry. The, the Burial Mound on Nantarine. Nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We'll go and transit back to the Ebon Hawk. And now that we're back, I'm going to swap path for mission. Uh, mission can level up, which is awesome. Let's see what she can do. We'll give her security, demolition, stealth. Um, we might as well give her some... Should we give her some... No, we'll give her tree injury, yeah. That'll be good. I'm surprised she only leveled up once. I haven't talked to Mission in what? quite a long time. Let's talk to her. Hey there. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to talk to you about your brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the... Oh, there's nothing else oh. that Mission can do at the minute. I want to keep her with me for now because you have to have her with you in order to trigger a cutscene. And I feel like it's coming soon. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my lightsaber. And make it red as well. well. Probably try and upgrade Bastila's lightsabers if we can. Which way is it? It should be this way. Um, and then we'll go and turn in the other two quests that I've been given. Obviously, I might tell the um, woman who's looking for a droid that he's still out there. That'll get me some dark side points. So we've got lightsaber. Uh, we'll upgrade this one with one of these crystals, and I'll see if I can give it a red crystal as well. Nice. So we've got two lightsabers there, and I'll upgrade that one. So we don't actually have any more crystals, unfortunately. But now we have two red lightsabers, which is really what you want for a Sith. I'm going to go turn in those quests now and get some more dark side points and some credits. Obviously we killed all the Mandalorians, which is pretty sweet. Uh, if I can find the door anyway, it's just over here. And then I think in the next episode we will find the Crystal Caves. Now, why do I keep calling it the Crystal Caves? It's the Burial Mounds. Um, the Burial Mound is quite hard actually, where you go for the first star map. The droids, uh, there's questions you have to answer, and if you don't do it right. Yet. Um, I fought and killed their leader. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. Um, what? That's it. Give me more. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The council will hear of your deeds and your greed. That was beneath you. I hope in the future you will strive to be better than this. Cool, we got some dark side points for that, which is awesome. How evil are we? We are so evil right now, it's great. 
Um, and the only thing we have to do now really is talk to Elsie. My droid is still missing. I can feel him like a hole in my aching heart. Let's see, I found your droid. He's, no, uh, what do we need to do here? Your droid escaped and there's nowhere to be found. He's still out there somewhere. He's out there still? I must find him. Hopefully I get dark side points for that. I don't know if I'd got any for the lie. Hey, why'd you have to do that? That was just mean. It troubles me to see you behaving this way. Such acts can lead to the dark side. Good. Oh, we did get some dark side points. And she just kind of faded into nothing. But yeah, look how cool. Two uh, red lightsabers. I'm pretty happy with that. So yeah, that, that'll be everything for today's episode, guys. Next time we're going to the burial mounds to uncover the first star map. But I just want to thank you for watching today. Please like, subscribe and all that good stuff. Leave any comments if you do have any. And we'll see you next time. Take care.